Today we are going to see integrated rate equations for zero order reaction after the first order reaction. First, we will see for zero order reaction. For zero order reaction, the rate is equal to rate, rate that is minus dr by d. Then write minus delta r by delta d. But here we are going to integrate it. That's why I'm writing minus dr by d. Is equal to a in the rate constant. Rate is equal to rate constant in A to the power, A to the power, it is reactant. For a reaction, R is equal to P. R means P. Reactant R products P. So here minus dr by D is equal to K in U R to the power zero because this is zero order reaction. Before integration, you can rearrange all these things. R to the power zero means one. So minus dr by dt is equal to k or I am rearranging on rearranging on rearranging. On rearranging, dr is equal to dr is equal to minus k. Dr is equal to minus k. Now we are going to integrate this to so get this integrated rate equation. So on integration. That is integral dr is equal to minus k that is constant minus k constant integral dv integral dr that is r r is equal to minus k t integral dv t plus integration constant i or c integration constant i or you can write c now let's see what is the value of this integration constant to get this value of this integration constant you can impose some condition what is the condition in the beginning initially initially that means when t is equal to zero when t is equal to zero That means here it is zero. When t is equal to zero, r becomes initial concentration in the beginning of the reaction. So r becomes r naught, that is initial concentration. So I write it as r naught equal to this is zero plus i. So I have got the value of minus k into t is equal to zero. So zero plus i. So now I can substitute this value. In this equation, equation number one, I'm going to substitute the value of integration constant in equation number one, that is on substitution. On substitution, r is equal to r is equal to minus kg plus r naught. R is the remaining concentration, R naught is the initial concentration. In a reaction, how much reaction is over or how much reactant got over? That is not this R. This R is how much reactant is remaining. R means remaining, R naught means initial concentration. 
Suppose you have taken 80 gram of a substance, that the substance is undergoing decomposition, is decomposing. From the 80 grams, 30 grams got decomposed. What is R? R is 50 grams. R naught is 80 grams, that is in the beginning. When T is equal to 0, R is the remaining concentration. They may say in the numerical that 30% is over. So how much percentage is remaining? 70% is remaining. They will say 60% is over. That means how much percentage is remaining? 40% is remaining. So R is the remaining concentration. Alright, so this is H number 2. This equation is in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. y is equal to mx plus c. In the form of a straight line with a negative slope. So if you draw a graph between t and r, if you draw a graph between t and r, the graph will be having a neg negative slope. That is slope is equal to minus k. If you draw a graph between t, t on x axis and r on y axis, r on y axis, you will be getting a straight line with a negative slope. The slope you can calculate y by x, that slope is equal to slope is equal to minus k. And from this, you can find out k, the rate constant of this reaction. Now, what is this first? This is R0. This is R0. In the beginning, R0 is very high. R0 is higher. As time passes, R0, from R0, the value decreasing and decreasing. At any time, t, R is plus. R is a remaining concentration, remaining concentration, remaining concentration. Yeah, now R is the remaining concentration. Okay, so this is a case of first order rate. This is the integrated rate equation for integrated rate equation zero order reaction. This is the integrated rate equation for zero order reaction. First order. Okay, so this is the the rate equation for zero order reaction. From this, you can calculate T or K. So KG is equal to KG is equal to R naught minus R. KG is equal to R naught minus R. KG I have taken this side. Minus it I have taken this side and R I will take the back. Or G is equal to R naught minus R upon K. Or K is equal to R naught minus R upon K. I am taking T because the next term that I have to talk about is T half. T half is the half life rate. Half life period is the time taken for the time in which the reactant concentration is reduced to one half of its original value. Original value is R naught. To reach to R naught by J, how much time is required? How much time is required? That is called T half. T half is the time in which the concentration of the reactants is reduced to one half of its original value. Half reaction is completed and half is remaining. For that, how much time is required that is called T half. Initially, R0 is the concentration. And after T half, after completing this half life period, this R0 becomes R0 by 2. R naught becomes R naught by two. So at T half, this R is equal to what is remaining concentration? R naught by two. What is remaining? You look only at remaining. 
Suppose they say P three four, P three four. That means three fourth is completed. What is remaining? What is remaining? R not one fourth is remaining. What is remaining consideration? You have to substitute here. Got one fourth of R not because T three four means three fourth is completed. If it is T one fourth. That means one fourth is completed. T fourth is one fourth is completed. Three fourth is remaining. T T half means we can get from here R minus. What is R? How much is remaining? Initially it was R not. Initially it was R not. Now only half of this remaining half completed. Half concentration over decomposed reaction half completed. So here it is. R not by all divided by it. This K I am writing here. So one minus half. That is half. R not minus R not by two. That means R not by two. So I am writing it as T of Z equal to R not by two and this K that is R. This is for zero order reaction. Zero order reaction. Zero. So two things you have to learn: T and T half. The zero order reaction. Two things you have to learn: T and T half. For first order reaction also, two things you have to learn: T and T half. Sometimes they may give K value, or sometimes you have to find out K value. Depends upon the numerical you have used. So, what is the integrated rate equation for zero order reaction? T is equal to R minus R upon K. What is the half life period for zero order reaction? That is T half is equal to R naught by T. Now, let's say for first order reaction. For first order reaction, we are going to see the integrated rate equation for first order reaction. That is, R gives P. General reaction, reactant gives product. Minus VR by DT. We are going to integrate, so I am taking in this format. Minus because in terms of reactant, this one minus. Otherwise, I would have taken minus delta R by delta T. Z equal to K into R to the power first order reaction. First order, so I am writing one. I have to integrate, so the uh, rearranging is must. So VR by R, R I am taking here. VR by R is equal to minus K delay. On integration, Rearranging is over on rearranging. On rearranging, this is on integration. That is integral VR by R is equal to minus a constant integral dt. Integral VR by R, one by R. Integral of one by r that is n r. L n r is equal to minus a t plus integration constant minus a t plus r. As in the previous case, you can find out the value of i by considering the initial state that is t is equal to zero. So when t is equal to zero, that is, ln when t is equal to zero, this r becomes r naught. That is, ln r naught. Don't r naught. 
Loan means 2.303 log LOG. So LOR is everywhere there is loan, then everywhere you can write LOG because everywhere that 2.303 get cancelled. So that time you don't have to write. That time you don't have to like, write load, you can directly write load. Okay, LMR log z equal to, that is minus k plus z root plus i means i is equal to LMR. So I'm going to substitute this. As we have done in the previous case, I'm going to substitute this i value in equation number one on substitution. On substitution of i, of I is equal to ln R in equation number one. In equation number one, I'll be getting ln R is equal to ln R is equal to minus eight plus ln R minus eight plus ln R. But Kt is equal to, I'm taking kt this side. So ln r minus ln r. This is equal to ln r upon ln r upon r. Log a minus log b is equal to log a by b. And this l Load I am going to replace by 2.3 or 3 log. 2.3 or 3 log. So 2.3 or 3 log are not upon log. This is the integrated rate equation for first order reaction. Again, I am going to T only. The value I'm going to take the value of t of the Let's go to t. t is equal to what? t is equal to 2.3 upon t. And here you see the situation, equation number two. This is again in the form of a straight line y is equal to x plus c. So here on y mx mx plus c. This is y. So ln r we are going to mark up y axis and t we are going to mark on x axis. So on moving towards the graph. on x-axis and ln r on y-axis. Here we'll be getting a straight line y is equal to fx plus c format with a y-intercept and the slope will be negative. So here, this same similar graph as in the case of previous similar graph, you can find out the slope. Slope is equal to minus k and slope you can get by constructing a right angle triangle and getting y by x. So k you can find out from this graph. And what is this y intercept? That is ln r naught. Ln r Now we are going towards t half. The time in which the concentration of a reactant reduces to half of its original value. So what is T half here? T is equal to 2.303 upon K. Log R naught upon R. That is the integrated rate equation for first order reaction. This is very important reaction. Because all the natural and artificial radioactive decompositions follow first order kinetics. So, 99% you will be using this equation for calculating G 
या जी हाफ या के और इनिशियल कंसिडरेशन और रिमेनिंग कंसिडरेशन और आर आर बाय आर नॉट व्हाट इज आर बाय आर नॉट व्हाट फ्रैक्शन इज रिमेनिंग आर बाय आर आर बाय आर व्हाट फ्रैक्शन इज रिमेनिंग द फ्रैक्शन द रिमेनिंग कंसिडरेशन राइट इनिशियली आर नॉट नाउ ओनली आर so how much fraction is remaining actually from this situation you are getting r not by r so ulta inverse lagana so you will get r by r so log r not upon r how can you find r not upon r from this so this k will be going that one k not will be coming in the denominator and you will be getting log r not upon r Let R not upon R. You take the analog of this right calculation. Analog. All right. Now we are going to T half. T half is equal to two point three zero three upon K. What is T half? T half means now R not by two. R not is R not only initial consideration. What is the remaining consideration? This R. Is R not by two? Only half of the initial concentration is remaining. So log R not that is equal. And instead of R, you will be able to take the substitution of this R not by two. So R not R not two cancels, and it is log two. Log two, you know, it is point three zero one two. So two point three not three log two upon a log two value that is zero point three zero one zero is value you should find out log two log three log four log five this much value you should find out log two point three zero one zero log three point four seven seven one log four point So these put values you should buy out. Log five point six nine nine. All right, these many values. Of course, they will be given in the numerical. But by chance, if it is not there, you can use log that. So T half you have calculated. This is a value. This is a value. You will get the value. This is point six nine three half. So in this case, there is no R not as we have seen in the zero order reaction. Or we can say the T half of this uh, first order reaction is independent of the initial concentration. T half, half like period, or T half of first order reaction is independent of initial concentration. That is R not. But T half of zero order reaction is dependent upon initial. So T half is equal to point six nine three upon K. Point six nine three upon. In the case of first order reaction, suppose if you take one sixty gram of a substance, and if it is undergoing a reaction which follows first order. Now. T half is independent of initial concentration. Whatever may be the initial concentration, it doesn't matter for its T half because the, that R naught is not included in this. It is not coming or it is not seen. It is not present in this T half. So if it is 160 gram initially we have taken, and if T half is the time to take to reach 80, T half. 160 is to reach to 80. We have taken T half. From 80 to 40, another T half. 40 to 20, another T half. 20 to 10, another T half. Means after two T halves, we will reach 40. After three T halves, we will reach. We will get reduced to twenty. After four T halves, we 
will be reduced to 10. So, as you go, P pop, P pop, P pop, P pop, then it will be reduced according to 10, 2, 5, 5, 2, 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, it is not reaching to zero. It is getting reduced and reduced and reduced and reduced and reduced. Very, very small, small, small. It is not reaching to. So we say a reaction, theoretically, it is not reaching to zero. Practically, we think that's true. Practically, we cannot go behind this. Theoretically, it is not reducing to. So this is what is meant by pH. One pH. It is reduced to 80. Next day half, it is reduced to 40. Like in this case, this is the way of getting rid of Minus KT plus LMR. This is why you have such LMR. And this is why that is LMR. On x axis, we use to mark what we need. At T1, at T1, at any time T1, then you can write as R. LMR. Minus K T plus L R at T two at T two you can write L R minus K T plus L R. You can solve these two equations and finally you will be getting L R. R to subtract 2 minus 1. Subtract 2 minus 1. That means Ln R2 minus Ln R. That is Ln R2 upon R. This, this will get cancelled and also minus K T2. Minus KT. So this will be minus. You can take that minus also. Keep it like that. Minus KT2 minus minus KT1. Minus KT2. That is K into T2 minus T. Minus K into K T1 minus K T2. Equation 2 minus 1. You can take K outside then T1 minus T2. T1 minus T2. Alright. We will be doing the numerical after this. Thank you.